Hi again, everybody. John Boutte, Buffalo Sports Museum, with another episode of In the Vault. Seeing we were in 1972 for the Bills in the last episode, I figured we'd shoot over to the Sabres in 1972 and talk a little bit about a rookie defenseman named Jim Schoenfeld. Before we get to Jim, how many of us played these? I mean, these provided hours and hours and hours of entertainment for us as kids growing up in the late 60s and early to mid 1970s. We play these every single chance we could get. If we were not in the backyard skating in the rink in our backyard, we were definitely playing these in front of the television set watching the Sabres. And um, what a great time that was. So innocent. But anyway, let's get back to 1972. And again, like I said, we'll talk about a rookie defenseman that year, 1972, named Jim Schoenfeld. Uh, Shoney came to us in the draft that year, along with Larry Carrier, another defenseman. They went defensive picks uh, for the Sabres that year and got this beautiful, tough, rugged, redheaded defenseman to come play for the Sabres. And it didn't take long for him to really put his stamp on the Buffalo Sabres and the Buffalo Western New York area. The, the, the biggest request I get for anything Sabres oriented is things to do with this particular game, December 13th, 1972 at the odd. And, uh, the Sabres were in their infancy, in their third year, hadn't made the playoffs yet, had uh, this team coming to Buffalo who was a natural rival. Boston and Buffalo date back many, many decades in their rivalry in sports. And um, the Bruins were coming to town with arguably the best player in the National Hockey League in Bobby Orr. The Brewer, Bruins had a five-game winning streak, a 12-game unbeaten streak when they entered the odd that day on December 13th, 1972. What they didn't know was that this redheaded kid was waiting for him. And after a sluggish start by the Sabres getting down 2-0 in the first period, Jim Schoenfeld made his presence known when he took Wayne Cashman, Cashman through the boards at the old auditorium in the Zamboni entrance and literally pounded Cashman until he basically gave up. That was in the end for uh, Schoenfeld that night. Two more fights ensued, taking Bobby Orr in his next fight and then Carol Vadney later in the third. And uh, the Sabres stormed back from being down 2-0 to win 7-3 to on the back of rookie defenseman Jim Schoenfeld. Gilles Perrault had two goals that night in his, uh, in his defense. He, he helped out, but it was Schoenfeld that everybody remembered and everybody was talking about in the paper the next day who was this big, strong kid who was not scared of taking on literally anyone in the NHL. Schoenfeld had a really, really nice career here in Buffalo. He um, went on to be captain, the youngest captain, I believe, in their existence. Um, uh, and uh, was, was just a, just bled uh, saber blue. Never forget the day he was traded in, uh, in December 1981 when he was shipped to Detroit along with uh, Danny Gear and Derek Smith, Bob Sove in a separate deal. And uh, he cried at the airport when he left Buffalo. He just loved it. And uh, what, what a great, great defenseman he was. Became famous later. <laughs> uh, singing defenseman. Released the famous Shoney album. One of the great collectibles in Buffalo sports history. I get requests for that all the time. Where can I get a Shoney album? I have to have one. I used to have one when I was a kid. Where can I get one? The Shoney album actually is not very difficult to find. If you go on eBay, you can find it for, you know, $10, $15, $20. It's not a, it's not a big price for a collectible. 
Uh, the other one is a little bit more collectible. The follow-up to Shoney. The key is love. Also with John Volby, local star here in Western New York uh, for his singing ability and his catchy, raunchy, often raunchy tunes. But um, Shoney would go on uh, after leaving Buffalo to Detroit and ironically enough uh, to Boston for one year before coming back to the Sabres uh, for his last season as a player. Shoney would make his mark as a coach in the National Hockey League Again with the Sabres, and then uh, more famously um, in New Jersey, where he and Don Koharski had a famous incident. Ironically, again, off-ice incident, uh, the famous have another donut, you fat pig, Don Koharski incident. I don't think Shoney's very proud of that, but he is proud of what he did as a Sabre. But I uh, just thought you'd like to see some of our great things that we have honoring Jim Schoenfeld. What a great guy. What a great defenseman. Uh, wonderful heart. And he could actually sing pretty well, too. So hope you like this segment from 1972, the Buffalo Sabres and the rookie defenseman, Jim Schoenfeld. Have a great day.